Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Today I'm at the Master Plan Community of Vera Mindy in New Braunfels, Texas. And I came out here earlier today to check on a build that's being done by another builder in this community for one of my clients. And I thought, hey, you know what? I haven't video a David Weekly home for a little while, and they're definitely one of my favorite builders. So the house behind me is the Reimer plan built by David Weekly, and it's on the market and it is ready to move in as of 20 June, 2024. Let's go check it out. All right, this gorgeous home is a four bedroom, three full baths, 2859 square feet with a three car garage. Now I'm quite sure one of my past clients built a Reimer plan, I believe in a Crossvine community. I think it was the Schultz family, but I'm not real sure. If you're actually still watching my videos, hey, leave a comment to let me know if my memory serves me correct. Anyways, I love David Weekly. They are definitely one of my favorite builders, especially if you're really concerned about what's going on behind the walls, because David Weekly builds an amazing home. And this amazing community, I really like a lot of things about Vera Mindy, especially the location and all the things to do around this community but definitely like the stone brick combination and the paint colors and it's already landscaped. And uh, as of right now, they're asking 569 for this house. So, and everything's always negotiable. Builders are getting desperate, especially when they're moving ready houses like this is. Anyways, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but this is not a model home. So this is what you get if you wanted to buy this house. Love the wide hallways, that, uh, the entryway. Got some neat little lights up there. But you have a bedroom right up front and it's a really good size bedroom. Definitely like that window. Tall ceilings in here. Ooh, this bathroom has its own. Oh crap, haven't checked the, done my toilet seat checks. There we go. All right, here we go. We got a nice full shower in this room. So this is a perfect guest bedroom house. I mean, guest, uh, I've been had a long day, sorry. I took a nice little class for learning about chat GPT. But yeah, this is a really nice bedroom if you wanna have it as your guest bedroom because yeah, you got a good size closet. And like I said, the bathroom ensuite right there. There's a little spot that David Weekly needs to get fixed, but that's easy enough to do. All right, mentioned before, this is a three car garage. And coming in from the garage, you got the little mud room. That's where I got my motorcycle helmet and uh, jacket already set up. But let's check out the size of this garage. Now, if you did buy this house, you would have to get your own garage door openers. Oh, that's kind of a David Weekly thing, but I like the Chamberlain garage door openers anyways. Uh, David Wheat is building these houses with tankless water heaters and it's already plumbed for water softener right over here. But it's really nice to have a three car garage. I have a two car garage at my house and man do I wish I had a three car garage. Especially with a motorcycle. But coming into, well let's go down this hallway here. After I hit some lights, you have the laundry room. Actually, I think my guys built a Reimer in this community. So that's what it sounds, I'm, I'm, my memory's coming back to me. All right, that's just a coat closet. And I wouldn't be surprised, yep, another toilet seat up. Sorry, it's just a pet peeve of mine. But yeah, really nice uh, full bathroom here. And you're going to have two bedrooms kind of side by side each other. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have both similar closets. So, yep, nothing real fancy about that closet. Let's see if this one's got a little fancier one because both these are good sized rooms, uh, decent sized rooms. But yep, same closet. So you're going to have like mirrored rooms off to in this little wing back here. And now we're coming up to the main living space. This is your moneymaker right here. This is a, a beautiful, gorgeous kitchen. Love the giant island they have in it. Uh, really nice uh, dining room space, slash breakfast nook, whatever you want to call it. 
and a really perfect size living room space. I mean, you put whatever type of furniture you want in it, and it's already been pre-wired for speakers. They got three speakers going across the back there. It looks like multiple speakers can be done on the wall right here. And everything's kind of been, uh, you got some blanks set up. So if you're wanting to do the pass-throughs and uh, without any cables showing. So that's really nice. They've heard, they put a lot of stuff into this if you're wanting a house for some entertainment. Well, let's not forget about this kitchen because it's a really nice kitchen to show off. This is a gas community. So we have Frigidaire appliances, a five cooktop burner, with a nice backsplash, and kind of your typical corner pantry, but still pretty decent size. Frigidaire oven and microwave. We got a nice quartz countertop and a single basin stainless steel sink. But I do like that you can see so much from right from where the kitchen's at. Let's go check out this backyard area because I know they got a really large patio. Do like a lot of stuff about this community, uh, especially the activities and things to do. You already see people riding around in the golf carts with uh, eight kids of questionable age of should they be riding the golf cart around, but hey, it's okay. No one seems to mind that much. But really nice sized patio back here with two fans. You do have houses back beside you and eventually they will be building one there. But it is a really nice community and I like so much about David Weekly. And one of the things I like is they got brick on all four sides of this house. Um, so less expense, less quality builders don't do that. But David Weekly does because uh, they really want to put a lot of quality in their house and make a very energy efficient house. One of David Weekly's things they like to do is put two by sixes on all exterior walls and really stuff in that insulation. So you're going to have a really energy efficient house. If you haven't seen their model home, they've got a little thing set up to kind of show it off. Uh, coming into the master bedroom, really nice size master bedroom. And if you haven't realized yet, I am a real estate agent and uh, the builders, they pay my fees. So using me as a realtor to buy any of these houses absolutely cost you nothing. Because even with this uh, lawsuit that's going on, they're kind of changing things up a little bit. I don't want to go too much on lawsuit because I'm not a lawyer, but the builders will still be paying realtor fees. So please don't go through this process alone. This is the famous David Weekly Super Shower. This is a nice upgrade if you were gonna be building from dirt, but I really do like uh, their Super Shower. We have uh, dual vanities, a nice mirror with some nice light fixtures there. And I've already checked this toilet. So we know we're good on this one, but you got plenty, a nice wide water closet there. That's a linen closet, but check out how big this uh, master bedroom closet is. That's a good size closet going all the way around and then plenty of space for shoe rack. I can't quite say it's a boot rack because it's not quite tall enough. You'd have to put your boots up top there. And this is gonna be kind of your hub for all of your ethernet cables, modem, routers and stuff all kind of go right through there and uh, disperse throughout the house because if you look closely on a lot of these walls, you'll see ethernet ports on these walls. There's an ethernet, ethernet port right there. So uh, you don't have to rely completely on Wi-Fi. You can have it things hardwired in straight from your router. It's kind of nice. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, one last big look at this house. Remember this house is on the market right now and we're toward the end of June, 2024. I just realized before I do my wrap up, I almost forgot this special room up front. So we have a flex room that could be used as an office. We got French doors leading into this room, which is a perfect office setup. So you can have uh, your windows at your back, giving you additional light on your desk. And then you can be facing out the, uh, these French doors. And we've already got a ceiling fan in here. All right, just want to make sure you saw everything in this house.
All right, that's going to do it for the tour of the Rhymer plan built by David Weekly in the community of Veramindi, New Braunfels, Texas. I sure hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family. I do these videos just to inform the public and to help grow my business, to kind of show my value to you guys, hoping you reach out to me. And to reach out to me, click in the description box. All my contact information is gonna be there and a calendarly link if you wanna schedule a time with me. All right, that's gonna do it for the day. Take care now, bye-bye.